Hello YouTubers, so one of the things that um, I wanted to discuss was uh, about where the software development patterns and paradigms come from. Um, yesterday I was uh, watching closely a centipede and what I found out is that the centipede, when it gets less oxygen in a tube, it, it starts to lose its legs one by one so it reduces the consumption of the oxygen in a tube and you know from that perspective I'm thinking you know this pattern could be um, used and really established very well in software development in terms of performance um, we could create dynamic objects and that will take us back to the whole idea of the uh, database uh, uh, objectifying dynamic uh, uh, patterns that allow you know people to actually uh, interact with the database without actually having to generate classes and such um, so the part that I'm really thinking about right now is uh, you know if you take the centipede example and how a try to lose its consumption to the oxygen in the air um, this could be used very well in software development and I'm really urging people to um, look more into insects and actual living beings and how they uh, create an equilibrium with the surrounding environment in order for them to be able to uh, survive. Do the same thing in software development. Um, so that's just a quick thought. I thought I'd put it out there. Uh, and it, it also should serve as a reminder for me uh, every time I want to think of a new idea for software